Verse 26, therefore, do not fear them. For there is nothing concealed that will not be revealed or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the darkness, speak in the light. Notice what he just said there. Here's what I want you to shout. Here's what I want you to proclaim in the light. Do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Notice the message of Jesus here. He says, listen, all this is gonna happen. Let me be real with you. Let me be truthful. Let me be honest with you, but understand this. Listen, I'm not leaving you. I'm not leaving you hanging. Don't fear. You are more valuable than any sparrows and Jesus, he kind of makes a political statement here. He says, you're not an animal. You're above them. He says, you are the one created in my image. And so what is Jesus offering here? What is the payoff? If you miss everything I say, remember this. I want you to see this. This is the offer of Jesus. This is what he says. This is how he talks about fear. This is what he offers. He offers a faith that is so sure of God's protection and love that it actually overwhelms. It overshadows all of our fear. Let that sink in for a minute. I want you to think about that for a second because what holds us back from everything? Fear. Everything in your life that you have held back or you have been held back involves this idea of fear. And Jesus says, do not fear. Why? Because I'm in control. And they can beat you and they can kill you, but that is nothing. Nothing. Because I hold your soul in my hands. Do not fear. When the water is raging, when the storm is killing you, he's the branch holding you right there in perfect peace. And so I want you to get this. I want you to think about this. I want you to meditate this all afternoon if, if that's what it takes because this is tough. What decisions would you make if you were absolutely confident that God would take care of you? <laughs> 